morning. Today we are going to talk about the water cycle. Uh, for my second graders out there, you have already had this covered in your curriculum, so this is going to be a little review for you. So let's go through it and we'll see how you guys are doing. Now keep in mind, our world is mostly covered in water. We have the oceans. Tell me your favorite body of water. Go right now. Oh, that's my favorite too. So rivers, I'm gonna go with rivers. Uh, we have creeks, oceans, ponds, anywhere that we have water, it's extremely important because every single day, what comes out? The beautiful sunshine. And that sun is very hot. Show me your best hot. <sighs> Today you don't have to work too hard. You're gonna step outside and you're gonna feel how hot it is. Uh, well that sun and that heat, it heats up all the water on the earth. And as that water starts to heat up, we start to evaporate the water and it becomes water vapor. It's an invisible gas. That water vapor goes up into the air and it starts to touch very cold air. Show me your cold. Brrr. Good job, guys. So that cold air is all the way up by where the airplanes fly. And as our water vapor goes up into the atmosphere and hits that cold air, we start to have condensation. And that's what makes our cloud. It grows and grows, and you see that cloud form, and it's holding so much water, and eventually it's gonna be so big that the water's gonna rain down. And what do we call that? Precipitation. So the water is coming down from our cloud, and it goes back, into our oceans, our rivers, onto our soil, and that creates the water cycle. It just keeps going and going. So I thought today we could maybe, shh, don't tell anybody, make a cloud inside our house. I know, right? It's gonna be really fun. So we have to kind of figure out a way to make the atmosphere inside of our house. So we need something for the hot water. We're gonna make our ocean all hot. I've boiled some water inside of my tea kettle. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the water inside of our jar, because I wanna make the jar really, really hot, because keep in mind, we want to recreate the atmosphere inside of our jar. So I'm gonna keep that water inside of our jar for a few minutes, get it nice and warm. Then I'm gonna take this glove, because keep in mind, it's, it's hot water, so we wanna be protected. And I think our jar is hot enough. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna pour out some of that water because we don't need all of that. There we go. So there is our ocean inside of our jar. And that's pretty hot water in there. Now, one thing I should point out is in the atmosphere, there's more than just the air we breathe. There's little bits of dust, other little particulates, and we have to recreate that inside of our jar because guess what? When our water vapor goes up, it interacts with that dust and it actually helps our cloud grow. We call it condensation nuclei. I know it sounds like a fancy word, but just think about it as dust in the air. So to recreate that, we're actually gonna light a match. Don't worry, I'm a trained professional, we're good. And of course, make sure that you have mom and dad. I know that they're sitting with you right now. And this is the part that they will do. So we're gonna go ahead and light our match. And then remember, we have to have the cold air. Here's our cold air. We got a bag of ice. So I'm gonna light our match, put it inside of our jar, cover it quickly with our cold air, our ice cubes, and we will watch our cloud grow. Are you guys ready? Okay, three, two, one. Okay, there's our match. It's gonna make our dust, our condensation nuclei. Put your cold bag on top and we're gonna watch our cloud grow. There it goes. So our hot water, our ocean at the bottom of our jar, that water is evaporating and that water vapor is rising into the atmosphere all the way by where those airplanes fly. And the cold air up by where the airplanes fly, well, our water vapor is touching that cold air. At the same time, it's interacting with the dust, our match that we put in there, and it's growing our cloud. Look how cloudy it is in there. That's a cloud inside our jar. Inside our house, we're making a cloud. And if you look just close enough, you'll notice that we have little droplets down the side of our jar. And you might even be able to see a little bit of rain in the middle of that jar dropping from our sandwich bag. I just saw it, did you see it? It's dropping 
into our ocean. That's our precipitation. So keep in mind with our water cycle, we have our evaporation, our water vapor, it's condensation when we hit that cold ice, and then we get our precipitation. We can see our water droplets hitting our ocean. There it goes. Well, what do you think about letting our cloud escape? I think we should do it too. Okay, get ready. Three, two, one, let it go. <gasps> there goes our cloud. Amazing. You guys, we made a cloud inside of our house. That's so much fun. Now kids, if you wanna do this with mom and dad, you definitely can. You can replay this video or you can go to clicktohouston.com at Berta's Weather Lab. We actually have five weather experiments and weather explainers, like how do we make a rainbow? How do you get snow in Houston? It's all right there, it's completely free, so hopefully it helps you guys out during this time. And we're gonna try and do this every Thursday. 